Hi guys, it's Lita. So I have an after Halloween haul for you guys. I am going to break this up into two different videos. So I got a lot of kitchenware and like it's mostly kitchenware. And then I have a clothing haul of like Halloween clothing that I got from various stores. So we're going to do the kitchen first and then I'll do another video with all of the clothes just because I feel like it's going to work better that way. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about some of the homeware that I got from, this is mostly from Ross. Ross actually had a lot of dishes and stuff left over, which I've never been back to Ross after Halloween and looked in the homeware section. I generally don't go to that section in my Ross. But yeah, uh, they had a bunch of stuff. So the first thing that I saw was these bowls and these are microwave safe. It just says they can get really hot in the microwave. I'm probably not going to put them in the microwave or in the dishwasher. I just feel like hand wash is safer but they're super cute. They've got skeleton hands all over them. This is a decent size, like, I don't know, I call it an ice cream bowl, I guess. And there is a cute little spider in the middle right there. And I paid $2.49 for these. I don't know what they were originally. I don't think I can get the sticker off, to be honest. They stuck the reduced price sticker over it. So I got two of those bowls. Then I got the larger size bowl that has the same skeleton hand design on it and the spider is a bit bigger on the inside. I paid, I don't think I paid $6.99 for these because yeah, okay. Um, they just didn't put the reduced price sticker on this one. I paid $3.49 for each of these, which is a good price for these bowls, like I said. These can go in the microwave and in the dishwasher. I don't think it's a good idea, but you can do that with these. The next thing from Ross is another candle. This is also by Bloom and Prosper, which were the other candles that I bought from Ross. They just are really strong candles, and I like the scents that they put together. So this one's called Tobacco Woods. I hope that's coming out for you guys but it's just like tobacco. It has, it says it has patchouli in it, but I can't smell it because I really dislike the smell of patchouli. So I paid $6.49 for this candle. It's a big candle. Uh, it doesn't have anything around like a uh, like spooky label or anything. It's just a straight up black jar candle, which I'm okay with. Next thing from Ross is a mug, and this is kind of sad because this side is perfect, but the other side where you can see Witch's Brew with the moon on it is a little fucked up. So, I mean, and I don't know how that happened. It looks like it just scratched off. And I don't know if this is supposed to go in the dishwasher or not, but I really like the label. I'm okay with like the messed up side. It's fine. It's whatever. This is a super, super cute mug, especially. I didn't even see that when I picked it up because I wasn't going to get it because I was like, mm, that kind of sucks. But I paid $1.99 for it. It's a pretty big mug, as you can see. So I thought it was worth it. I mean... If you want to take a photo with it, you just turn the friggin' mug around and it looks fine and nobody knows the difference. And then I got this mug from Ross also. It says, Dance It Out, and it's got a bunch of skeletons on it. I don't know if the design is going to come out for you guys. And then on the inside, it has a bunch of spiders and it says, Happy Halloween. And I don't know, I think this was like one ninety nine two. I don't no because the sticker is in here but it was reduced like all their Halloween stuff was reduced so but I thought this was really really cute this is a good size soup mug too so I really like having big mugs like mugs like this to eat like ramen and stuff and I just like it better than 
a bowl because you have a handle. I don't know. That's just me. And then I also found this mug. I really wanted to get this because it's black and green. It's my favorite colors and it says Creepy Eats on it. The only thing is I tried to use it for coffee and there's like a hairline fracture right here so I don't know what to do about that. I'd really like to use it as like a soup mug but um, I don't know what to do about the crack and I didn't see it until I bought it but I did really want one of these mugs. I paid $149 for this so hopefully I can fix it. Then I got this super cute mummy candy bowl. I wouldn't have bought it unless it wasn't on sale. I paid $2.49 for this, but I do like his little face that it's like grumpy and I don't know, like the guy, I don't know if you guys could see that, but he has like the same exact face. I think it's cute. Uh, I don't know. For like two bucks, I just didn't want to leave it. I felt bad leaving it, so I bought it. And then the next couple things. I got a mug from TJ Maxx. I had been eyeing this Beware mug and it was still left over from after Halloween, which I was glad about. I don't remember how much it was before they took the original price tag off, but I paid $3 for it. I just think it's really cute. It is very Halloween-y and the little bat on it is adorable. I love that. I almost bought it for full price, but I waited and I'm glad I did because like $3 is a steal for a mug like this. Then I got this bat plate from Walmart. It's just a ceramic dish. You can put this in the dishwasher or the microwave. I don't think I'll do that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It might end up on my kitchen wall with my other bat, but I just liked it. It's just a simple bat plate. You can't go wrong with that. So yeah, Walmart actually killed it with the plates. They had a couple cute ones, but I went with the bat one and I don't know how much this was. It was originally $4, but everything at Walmart was like 75% off after Halloween. So 75% off of $4.74. And then I went to Michael's. My Michael's was cleared the fuck out. Like there was nothing left really. Um, some of the stuff that I thought I was going to go back and get was completely gone. That's fine. I did get one of these. This cost like a dollar now and it was like originally seven dollars. So I bought two of them. They were like a dollar each. And they're just going to go on my nightstand. I wouldn't pay $7 for it. Don't pay $7 for this. This is actually really small. And to cover a table properly, you would need two of these. So, but yeah, for a dollar, I just bought it. Um, I don't know. I I'm glad it's going to cover my nightstand table because I think it will make my table look a lot spookier. And my target was also cleared out there was like nothing that I really wanted but I did find some cookie cutters I was mainly aiming for the bat one because I don't have a metal bat cookie cutter and I want one because there's a DIY that I want to attempt and I needed a metal bat cookie cutter I don't know how much this was it was on sale it was 50% off so then I got these two skull tumblers from Walmart. I got the iridescent one and the matte black skull. I'm gonna take this, the straws and the tops out of these and use them for my makeup brushes. They just make excellent makeup brush jars. So that's what I'm gonna do with these and I'll just save the straws if I ever want to use them for tumblers, but they're gonna be makeup brush holders and they look really super cute as makeup brush holders, so. And I got another one of these like blood filled cups. I got the spider one just because I think it does go well with the bat one. And yeah, it's just uh, one of those blood filled cups. I think they're cool. Um, I don't remember how much they were originally, but once again, this was on sale at Walmart 75% off. So. And then I went to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has Christmas in full effect, so there wasn't anything that I really wanted out of the Halloween stuff. I mean, they had like the yard stakes, but I have some of those and I don't need more. So I did find this like super cute Hotel Transylvania bag. 
and I just really like the design on it. I think it's super cute because it's got the skulls and the bats and I think the colors are really nice too but it's just like a reusable bag this was the last one that they had so I grabbed it because I just like the pattern I mean it's like black and green and like all the things so we got that I just like I like it I think it's like super cute and then I went to Pier 1 just to see, because you never know what's left over at Pier 1. Their stuff is expensive, so I think it gets left till after Halloween. And I found one of these rubber doormats. I've always wanted one of these, but I've never gotten them because they usually go before Halloween is over and you have to pay full price for them. This was originally $20 at Pier 1 and I got it for 10 and I'm super excited to put it outside my front door because my other doormat is like on its last legs and I need a new doormat. It's going to look really good. I'm really excited. I finally got one of those. I have like the hay one, like the hay made ones one out there that's got spiders on it says thanks for dropping by or whatever but they just don't last and they start looking like super shitty after a while so like I'm ready to like toss that and put this one out it's gonna be nice I can't wait to <laughs> I can't wait to put it out I'm really excited it's been sitting in my room I've been staring at it. I just want to put it outside but I had to haul it for you guys first and then I went to Goodwill just to see because usually people donate their old Halloween shit after they've gotten like new Halloween stuff on sale or clearance because Halloween is over and then I found this like super cute witch hat that I did paint um, it was this pastel purple color and I'm um, I don't know I just the black looks way better in my opinion and I left the green this is original I don't care it's fine I'm okay with the green color but yeah it actually does stuff so let me turn it on for you guys The laugh is super creepy. Alright, that's enough. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so yeah, um, I just like the ghosts on it and stuff. I just think the ghosts are super cute because they're coming out of the hat. And I think it was like two bucks at Goodwill. I also found this Monster High plushie at Goodwill. This is Frank, Frankie Stein, and it's just cute. I think it's like a super cute creepy doll and I do have like some Monster High stuff so I just decided to get her she was uh, like three bucks and she doesn't smell she's not stained or anything she's in really good condition so yeah I grabbed that up as well and then the last thing that I found at Goodwill was this poison tumbler I think this was originally from Walmart because it says cool gear on it and that's usually the brand of tumbler that Walmart sells around the holidays or in general but I just liked it because it had like poison and it's green there's like flies and stuff in it um, and it's a double wall so I just bought it it was like 89 cents you know because I need another another tumbler and yeah, that is the last thing in my after Halloween haul. I am going to do a clothing haul, like I said, for Halloween stuff. So just stay tuned for that. And comment down below your favorite item that I got in this haul. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on other social media. My links will be posted in the description box down below. Hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload. Thanks for watching, guys. 
Bye. All right, that's enough. Nope, 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 nope. Okay.